Eric Shaver Dio coming to you with another health related update. Today, I stumbled across a video on my feed that was an interview with Casey Means MD. For those of you who don't know, she was nominated back in May to be the next Surgeon General of the United States. Her background is she is an MD, graduated from Stanford Medical School, completed four and a half of a five year surgical residency in ears, nose, and throat head and neck surgery, and then dropped out and started a functional medicine practice, in a sense, become a prominent YouTube influencer. In this interview that I saw, she expressed a lot of ideas I do agree with, that generally lifestyle medicine is underutilized in the United States, and that we do not, as physicians, tend to intervene early enough in the lifespan of lifestyle-related diseases, such as insulin resistance, progressing to diabetes, cardiovascular disease, etc. She also said a few things I disagree with and considering the prominent position she may soon hold if she is eventually confirmed, I think it's important to push back against some of these things. One of the big ones is she made the statement that primary care doctors tend to ignore triglycerides because we don't have medications to treat triglycerides and so instead we focus on LDL. And this is a factually inaccurate statement when you evaluate available research. Glycerides are a type of cholesterol as opposed to LDL, which is a type of lipoprotein that carries cholesterol. We do have effective medications to treat triglycerides, the headline of which was marketed under the brand name Tricor. It's phenofibrate. But the big issue with it is it has shown no benefit for the majority of individuals when added to a statin or when used by itself in lowering heart disease risk particularly heart attacks and strokes. And as our statin medications and other LDL treatments are much more effective in this vein, it is something that physicians focus on. But we do not ignore triglycerides. My colleagues and I have always looked at them as an important measure of cardiovascular risk, but usually we intervene with lifestyle medicine advice. Anyways, I hope this is helpful. If you have further questions, please fire away in the comments section, and I'll talk to you later.